What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Alakazam Trick Room team. Yep, I said ranked double ladder because it is now July 1st, which means a new season of rank is here. All the Isle of Armor Pokemon are included. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on this channel. I'm so hyped for rank battles with the new Pokemon. I've been waiting so long, but rocking out on this team, we got Hatterene and Ndidi going out here, our normal trick room setup right here. We got the follow me Ndidi with its normal move set of uh, follow me, helping hand and protect, but it also has expanding force, which is awesome. Same thing with Hatterene. Normal things going on with her, but it also has expanding force. Expanding force is an amazing psychic move, and if we can get it into psychics, terrain as well it's going to do even more damage but another pokemon that we got rolling out here we got normal conquador in the bottom right corner we got drain punch mock punch protect and ice punch with that guts and flame or normal you guys already know about that that has just been normal staple since uh this game has came out but we got three new pokemon showing off on this team for rank we got amoongus in the bottom left with regenerator as its ability and koba berry so we can eat up a flying move with giga drain rage powder spore which is a hundred percent sleep move and protect then we got Malwak over here a lonely Malwak. this thing is so good this thing is a beast of a trick room pokemon with lightning rod thick club as his item fire and ghost typing with flare blitz shadow bone boomerang and protect boomerang is going to be our coverage move shadow bone and flare blitz for a big stab damage and then in the final spot my boy the reason why i picked this team Alkazam right here with magic guard so he takes no life orb damage his expanding force which is going to be huge damage in the psychic surge with that life orb to stab and uh, in the second surge, gonna get boosted 1.3. We got Dazzling Gleam, Focus Blast, and Protect. Reason I picked this team was because of him. I feel like he has been probably the best Pokemon, not the best, but like the most hyped Pokemon in the new Isle of Armor. Everyone loves him, and everyone just wants to see him. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the bottom of the team or bottom of the screen. I saw this team over on Instagram, but I know Spatial is another YouTuber who makes Pokemon videos, so I'm gonna leave all of his information down in the link in the description below. Shout out to him for making this team. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Let's get it, guys. First battle for the new rank season. We're going up against a Kabalian team. Like, dude, that is crazy. I'm not too sure who is allowed or who is legal in the new rank season. So let me know in the comment section down below who is and who is not. Is, like, all the new Pokemon allowed in there? I think so. I think I think every single Pokemon that in the Isle of Armor and the new three legendaries like Terrakion, Kabalion, and any other one are allowed. But we have 25 seconds to pick. I think I'm just going to go straight into Alkazam and Ndidi. I don't think he has any way of setting surges, right? No, he has no way of setting surges. And then I think I go Conkledor? Or do I go here to try to set up the Trick Room? An Amoongus? I could go Amoongus, but no, I'd rather have, uh, rather have Malwak here. I'd rather get Malwak going in here because he's a beast in the Trick Room if I can get a setup after this Alkazam. But I'm planning on leading Alkazam because we can set up that Psychic Surge, go for an Expanding Force, hit both for 80 base damage, and then gets a Psychic Boost, the Stab Boost, the Life Orb Boost. It is going to be ridiculous. It is going to be ridiculous damage, but... Let's get rolling here. Let's get it. Expanding Force is probably one of the new best psychic moves out there. But he goes Whimsy Poo and Cinder Ace. Whimsy Poo and Cinder Ace. Uh, the real question is, I feel like actually he might set up a Tailwind. So I was going to go into a uh, a uh, Helping Hand here. But if he goes Tailwind into like Pyro Ball, he's just going to take out my Alkazam. So I'm going to go into Expanding Force and follow me. I think that's a, that's a good first turn little thing right here. It's gonna be big damage, and I feel like my Alkazam does outspeed with the what's called without the uh, without the Tailwind. But I think he is gonna set up Tailwind. Let's just see what he does. What are you going to do, sir? Kind sir, what are you gonna do? He is going to Dynamax. He is gonna Dynamax first turn. Is this G Max? Is this G Max in race? I don't even know what his move does, to be honest. <laughs> I do not even know, and it's not, it's just regular sin race. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come watch me push the rank ladder with the new season and try to get higher tiers. But let's get it. Follow me coming out here. Get over here, boy. Everybody over here. And what are you doing, Whimsy Poo? I wonder what you're doing. You going for a tailwind? Whoa. Wait a minute. That might have been the craziest thing I've ever seen. What Whimsicott runs that? What Whimsicott runs that? That is my question. What you mean? What Whimsicott runs a terrain move? What game is this? What game is this? 
What is this? I am so confused. What Whimsicott runs the terrain? You never see that. You never see this. This guy was ready. This guy was ready for everything. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He switched up my terrain on me, man. He switched it up on me. You're crazy. You're crazy, dude. Oh, dude, I really want to go for... Mm, do I go for an Asim Lee here? We do outspeed him. And in the missed train. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for that. And then I'm just going to go for a trick room. Is he really going to go for a tailwind here? Let's see what happens here. Are you kidding me? This dude really just did us dirty. If we go first, we might be able to take out the Cinerace with this Dazzling Gleam. Misty Terrain, no stab, Life Orb, and super effective. So, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Please do not go for a Tailwind. Please do not do me dirty. Sir. Sir, I'm asking you politely. Sir, Cinerace. I'm asking you politely. Do not go for the Tailwind. <laughs> and dump on my Hatterene. Come on, I want this first battle win for ranked season. I want it so bad. Let's see what happens here. Dazzling Gleam does come out. Is it KO? Nope. I thought it was going to do more damage than that, but it's a double hit and move. So now she goes for that max darkness. Go for my Alkazam, please. Yep. That's totally fine. Goes for my Alkazam. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. I am 100% cool with that. Special defense this shot, but I don't see this uh, one taking me out in one shot here. I do not see that at all. Let's see what happens here. He goes for the Moon Blast. Should be able to eat that one up just fine. Give me that. That's a tasty snack you got there, buddy. Yep, very, very tasty. And we're going to be able to get off this Trick Room. Best part about this is a little Malwax, a beast in the Trick Room. So I'm going to get rolling with that. I'm going to get rolling with my boy Malwax. Get over here. This match isn't even close to being over, but this dude really just outplayed me in being in with that Misty Terrain. This guy was ready for it. He was ready for, like, the whole expanding force into the Psychic Surge. He was totally ready for it. But I'm definitely going to go into a Flare, set this, and then go into a, uh, a Gleam. Yeah. This Gleam will definitely take out the Cinder Race with that big old stab damage. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Big old Malwak with that thick club. He cannot use electric moves, but I don't really like the lightning rod. I'm trying to think, like, lightning rod for, like, but, like, for who? To protect who on this team? We don't really have anybody that's too vulnerable to, uh, electric moves, right? Because who do we have? Who do we have? It's, uh, Indeedee, Hatterene, Malwak. Who else was there? Conkledor, Alkazam, and... Amoongus, like nobody really like is like a big threat against electric, so like lightning rod doesn't really work out. I thought that Malwak has another ability, a little Malwak, so I think the other one would be better. There's a flame body, what's he roll out with? Cinderace does go for the max guard, which is totally fine. I'm going after the Whimsicott anyway. And I can gleam next turn and take that thing out, no problem. But he's doing this so he can get off his sucker punch. He's doing this so he can get off his sucker punch. Which is totally fine by me. We do that. Boop. And we take out the Whimsicott here. And, uh, Max Fire isn't really going to do anything. We don't even get that terrain up. We don't even get that terrain up. But he definitely wants to get off this Sucker Punch, so I might just protect the Hatterene. All right, do I have to protect with this thing? Or I could just, uh, go for another Tricker? Nah, I cannot. Mmm. Mmm-mm. He goes Polsky. He goes with Polsky, and he's definitely going to take out my Hatterene here. And I'm going to take out that Polt in one shot. No problem. No problem whatsoever. As much as I want that, uh, Cinderace out of here. Let me go here. He got the pole. And I'm just going to protect. I am just going to protect this Hatterene because he's got to be going for that uh, Sucker Punch, right? He's going for that Sucker Punch over on the Hatterene, right? So if I can waste turns out like that and just run in after this, we should be chilling. We should be chilling. Unless Pole protects here, he's dead. Pole is dead. Or unless he's Sash. We'll see. We will see. We will find out. But nice play by the Sinners. He's definitely going for a Sucker Punch. Like, that's a fact. I'm not guarding. Think I'm guarding, man? Go ahead. Think that I'm guarding. Think that I am max guarding. But I'm actually just protecting my Hatterene. I'm getting after this uh, Dragon Pool. What you want, fool? He don't want it. He don't want it, guys. He saw he's like, jeans. In ranked, he's going to dominate me. <laughs> we protect. Sucker Punch come out. It does, yo. Nice call by me. It fails because we protect it. That's really fine. Phantasm is going to come out here. I'm going to say bye-bye to Polsky. Super effective stab with that thick club. See you later, kid. See you later. And we have uh, one more turn left in this, uh, this what's called. One more turn left in this, uh, bu -bu -bum. this Dynamax. And I definitely got to get rid of the Cinderace right now. Who's this final mine? This is going to be scary. This is going to be scary. He comes down this Cobalion. Mm. I don't really know what this thing does, but he seems like an absolute monster. Seems like an absolute monster. Uh, do I protect the Hatterene again? I feel like I protect the Hatterene again. 
Let me just take out the Cinderace. The Cinderace gotta go. I'm just gonna protect the protect Hatterene again. Just so a sucker punch doesn't come off, you know? Let's go for it again. And we landed it again. Are you kidding me? Yo, jeans. How lucky am I? It's okay. Sucker punch. I was going for that straight up just so. Oh, no. He goes to the other side. You hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. I landed that again. That's tough. That is tough. We're going to go here. What type of called Bali? Is it grass or steel? I think he's steel. But we're going to set this heat. I do get first turn next turn. All I need is my Malwak to eat up a shot. And hopefully that Kobali is going for like a steel move over on for my Hatterene. Let's see what he goes for. Iron Head. Yes, yo. I can't believe we landed another Protect. That was more so like we would have had this win anyway. We would have had this win, I think, anyway, regardless. We would have had this regardless. Because I was just going for the Protect so the Sucker Punch didn't hit. So just say my, uh. Just say he takes out my Hatterene with the. With the Iron Head. Just say he takes out the Hatterene with the Iron Head. It's a 1v1. My Malwak at speeds. And this Flare Blitz should just be doing uh, big old damage for the win. And we'll go for Dazzling Gleam. Just to make it safe. There's no way this thing's sashed. Right? Dazzling Gleam comes out. Let's see. You get some nice damage off. And then Flare Blitz should be able to come in here and finish off match number one. Yo, let's go. We start off the brand new season. 1-0. Beautiful. We can take, take out Kobali. And I really want to show off him. He's going to be such a cool Pokemon to show off in the rank ladder. But, yo, this team is awesome. I thought this dude had it when he switched to Misty Train. But we came back. We set that Trick Room. And we rolled out with Alolan Malwak. We got a G-Max Slowbro team going in for our second battle. I don't think I need to roll Trick Room here. He has a rather slow team. And if he wants to roll, roll Trick Room, I'm fine with it. I don't think I bring in Hatterene. I think I go Alkazam and Didi once again. Well, with that, bring Conkledor. And then I think Malwak. 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 I think that's the call. I think that's the call. Let me give another look at his team. I think this is just rolls out really good. Really, really good. Much I Did I go in DD? Yeah, I went in DD, right? Yeah. I think this is good. I think we're chilling here. He has no terrain setters, right? No way of setting terrains. Could be a G-Max Lapras. Could be G-Max Slowbro. Probably G-Max Slowbro. Could be a G-Max Machamp. Could be a G-Max Snorlax. He has a bunch of different options on his team. Sorry. A little throat. little... Scratch, I guess. I don't even know what to call it, but he has a lot of options on his team, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Can we go 2-0 to get started? That'd be type nice, but he goes with Klopsky Poo and, uh, and what's it called? And Incineroar, which I'm totally fine with. He's gonna fake out somebody, though. He's definitely gonna fake out somebody. Do I just protect my boy? Like, who do I think he's faking out? He's definitely going for a Trick Room. That's, uh, that's an obvious bite. And he's going to fake me out. He's got to be faking out my Alkazam, right? So I'm I'm honestly thinking that uh, I protect my Alkazam. And then I just roll into an Expanding Force. Right? Let's protect him. you got to be going for a fake out on that. And I'm just going to go into an Expanding Force. That has no effect on him. Which is mm, a little tough. A little tough. But I'm still going to do some damage over on this Dust Cops. Let's get it. Protect from the Alkazam. He's got to be faking me out. That's got to be a thing. It's got to be a thing, right? Spanning Force comes out. He didn't even go for the fake out. Wow, I could have just doubled up. You little biscuit. Hopefully he does hit up on my, what's it called? Hopefully he does hit up on my Alkazam. Let's see. Yep, okay, we blocked that. So no fake out coming out from him. He's going to roll a Trick Room, which is uh, totally fine. Uh, do I swap Alkazam and save him for later? Let's swap him and save him for later. And maybe get Conqueror up in here. Conqueror could come in here and just uh, do some mean work. Or I can just go here. And you know what? I'm going to go... Here, I'm gonna go into a focus. Let's focus bias. How hard this is it? Hmm. It's made lower the target. This is a low chance of hitting, but I kind of really want to go for it. I think could go for an ally switch. We'll see. I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna go that, and I'm gonna go for a follow me here. If I land this focus blast, this incinerator is gone. I'm gonna tell it to get out of here. Follow me coming out here. We doing that? I could have went to a focus blast turn one and took that thing out. What happens? Pain split coming in. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. You can have a little bit of HP back. That's cops. And then Darkest Slayer is going to slide over to you. And then 70% or is it percent? Well, 70 accuracy. I think it's 70% actually. And jeez, man. That would hit me like a truck. Is that crit? That thing just hit me like an absolute truck for no reason. Land Focus Blast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We should say buy this instant or No. Wow. Wow. Didn't even take him out. Wow. Okay. So Trick Room's here. I'm going to get Malwak up in here. And I'm going to Dynamax Malwak. We're going to get popping off with this Malwak here. Malwak, what you want, fool? What you want? Alright, uh, do I go Gleam here? Did we say Gleam takes that thing out? 
I'm gonna go for that for sure. And I'm gonna Dynamax and go for that Phantasm over on you. And we're gonna get wrong because I can definitely get a Conqueror out here and take that thing out in one shot with a Mach Punch or a Drain Punch with my uh or on that onto that Incineroar. I think this one's gonna be really really close. I think this one is going to come down to the wire. I'm hoping this Gleam could take out Incineroar, but Incineroar is so bulky and we both know that. Like we we already know how bulky that thing is. We got that thick club. He set the trick room, like I said, for us already, and we have Conqueror in the back. I'm cool with it. I would love to trigger that guts too. I would love to get those guts rolling. But big old Malwak. He's probably like the Dynamax Pokemon here in this uh on this team. Like Alkazam is more so to get him out in that psychic surge and uh do some expanding forces. But he's gonna go for a nightshade here. Alkazam should be able to eat up a nightshade just fine, right? Yeah. Well it doesn't matter, Nightshade does the same amount of damage each time. Phantasm comes out here. Boop! And look at that, dude. Look at that! This is what I'm talking about. He's an absolute monster. An absolute monster! Oh my lord. Dark Slayer is gonna pop out on my Malwak. Malwak's fine, he eats up all day, and Alkazam's gonna be alive for another turn, which is wonderful. Does he take out here? Can you show me you please take out? I love you. I love you, Alkazam. You're so good. You are so good. But you see how hard that Malwak hit? Thing killed a Dust Cops in one shot. Are you kidding me? That is unreal. That is unreal. But if I can get off a uh, expanding force, oh my lord. Oh my lord. You better watch out there, kiddo. You better watch out. If we can get off an expanding force, this guy's in trouble. This guy's in trouble. Like I said, we still have that Conqueror in the back end if we need a mock Punch to actually finish off someone. But the Trick Room really benefits us a lot, especially this Malwak. He thrives on the Trick Room. He's so slow, and he hits like an absolute truck with that thick club. But he's going to go into Snorlax. A little bit of lax in action. I'm cool with it. And slow, bro. And slow, bro. Here. And bro, that is really slow. wonder how slow these mods are. They might be slower than both of me combined, but let's go Expanding Force uh, into Slowbro, I guess. I think Slowbro is going to be his Dynamax mod. And I can just go for a Phantasm. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Phantasm over on the Slowbro. Let's get it, peeps. Let's get it. And he just cancels battle like that. Yo, let's go. 2-0 to start off this rank season. Let's hop into our third battle and try to get a perfect record. Come on. What is up with this guy? How are you going to hop into rank battles in the new season and not use any of the new Pokemon? Like, even if you do not have the Isle of Armor, use a rental team. Find something cool. Use some new Pokemon. Like, what is this? Hopping into our third and final battle. We're going for a perfect record here. Um, hmm. I kind of just want to go straight up. You can set Trick Room for me. I'm cool with it. I'm going to go Alkazam and Indeedee. I'm going to go Alkazam and Indeedee. Bring Malwak in the back. And then I feel like uh, either Amoongus or Conqueror. Do we go Conqueror again? I said we go Conqueror. That could be really, really good. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. I think he's going to go maybe uh, Butterfree. Try to get the sleeps going. Or he might set the Trick Room. We'll figure out in just a second. But yo, I got Expanding Force on this Alkazam. Big old damage coming at him. Big old damage coming at him. And he's 189 speed. He outspeeds Cinderaces. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous how good... Alkazam actually is. But let's get rolling. Can I do it? Can Jeans do it for the online gaming community? Hop into rank battles and get a perfect record to start off the new season. I hope so. He's going to go in DD and Slurp Puff and get a little bit of Puff in action. But we're going to go Surgeon. Who's holding the seeds? Who's holding the seeds? I know we got seeds. You guys got seeds? Someone's got to have seeds on their end, right? There's their seeds. Slurp Puff's got the psychic seeds. That's totally fine. And I got the Psychic Seeds. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> um, is Slurp Puff Psychic? It's just Fairy. Okay, it's straight up just Fairy. I'm still going to go for an Expanding Force. And we're going to hit up you. And we're going to go into... Do I double? Do I double? Do I dare do it? I think he's going to go for an Expanding Force as well, but... I think I just go for follow me. I think I just go for follow me and protect this Alkazam. I think that's the play. Follow me comes out here. I'm just going to protect this. I was going to double up in the expanding forces, but we'll see what happens. After you comes out here. But it fails. You stupid. Why are you so stupid? Expanding force comes out. Yeet! And how much damage are we doing to Slurp Puff? Nice damage right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. We get a crit over on ooh, that Indeedy, which is wonderful. He's going to set up Trick Room. I'm totally fine with that. I am 100% fine with the Trick Room coming out here. This is why I have a slow Pokemon in the back end. Look at this, yo. Look at Malwax speed, baby. Look at Malwax speed. Ready? 45. Bro, 45 doo doo slow, man. <laughs> He's so good in the Trick Room. He is so good in the Trick Room. But another expanding force should be able to uh, finish off both these. So I'm just going to go for a follow me here. 
And I'll soak up your shots. Let Alkazam keep doing work. He's gonna go for a helping hand. Over with the Indeedy. Are you going for an expanding force? Are you rocking out with this? He might be going for an expanding force as well. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Yo, we all got it. Everyone's got expanding force. Don't take out my Alkazam. Nope, Alkazam eats it up just fine. Not very effective on it. And I should be able to pick up the double kill here. Let's get it. Let's get it. You got no psychic seeds on your Indeedy. You guys are both dead. Get him out of here. Get going, yo. Alakazam is way too strong. But I feel like everyone's going to start learning soon because expanding force is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So I feel like people like the Whimsicott, they're going to start using that Misty Terrain on it like we saw. And I feel like Rillaboom is going to be way more uh, relevant, which it already is. It's already like a top Pokemon. But he has Trick Room out. Uh, Eruption's definitely coming out here. No doubt in my mind. Eruption's definitely coming out here. And he might Dynamax his Hatterene. If anything. If anything. So here comes the drought. He gets that sun going. And how slow is Torkoal? Torkoal might be able to do some work up against my Malwak, but my Malwak is going to be clutch. Um, I guess I'll go for an Expanding Force, because if I land it, that's big old damage. But I feel like Alakazam just dies here, right? But I might as well double up in Expanding Forces. I feel like they both go down here to an Eruption. Yeah. Eruption comes out. Like I said, I think they, we both go down to it. And DD does survive, which is wonderful. I wonder what... uh. Wonder what he's going for here. Dazzling Gleam. Can we eat up a Dazzling Gleam with that plus one special defense? Oh man, yo, that's whack. That's whack. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so, hmm. We got Malwak and we got Conqueror. But do I protect the Conqueror? Say he goes into like a fairy move. Right? Do I say that? Because I know my Malwak can eat up a, uh, he can totally eat up a, uh, what's it called? An eruption. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go into the phantasm. I'm gonna take you out, and I say I protect this thing. I'm gonna protect this, trigger my guts, and then go into a mock punch on something. This one's gonna be close. Can Jeans do it? Coming into a close third and final battle, I want it so bad. I want it so bad, but he's got really slow Pokemon too. Like, see, he is slower than us. He's way slower than us. And he might just be able to dump on me. I think he's going for that, uh. Going, yeah. Going with G Max Hatterene, and I think he's going for that, uh, fairy move over onto my Conqueror. So I'm hoping Conqueror can just eat up with that Protect and be able to get off at least a Mach Punch, you know? With the Guts triggered and all that good stuff. Because I think Malwak takes this thing out in one shot. Like, Malwak is able to take out a Dust Cops in one shot with an Ebo Light. Like, come on. It should be able to take out a G-Max Hatterene. No problem. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's see how it rolls. Come on, Malwak! Malwak is so good. I'm loving this team. I'm loving Alakazam with the Expanding Force. And then Malwak coming in for the Dynamax. He's just a, such a beast. Let's see what happens here. Here goes my protect. But mm, this uh this eruption, we know it's coming out here, right? Yep, eruption comes out. Blah. And Malwak, Malwak, you should be able to eat this up pretty well, right? Yeah, thank you, Malwak. So big old damage to it. He's gonna go for a G-Max Smite. Go over onto my uh go over onto my Conqueror. Thank you. Eat up, Conqueror. I love you. I love you, Conqueror. I love you, Conqueror. Coming up big. We're fully protected. And he confuses us. Oh my god, I totally forgot about the confusion. Please land these attacks. Please land these attacks. Please, Malwak. Yes, Malwak. Yes. Take him out. Just dump on it. Say night night. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This thing's a beast. This thing's a god sent down from the heavens. Oh my lord. He hits so hard. He hits way too hard. Um, I gotta go for a mock punch to try and neglect some of this eruption damage here. But hopefully we can connect it. We gotta be able to connect it. If we don't connect that, I think we lose. Actually, I don't know. It's going to be close. Let's go into that Max Quake. But that's super effective. And then Mach Punch got to come out here. Come on, baby. Don't, if both of these guys hurt themselves in confusion, I'm going to cry a little bit. Get it. Get it, Conqueror. Oh, my God. Guys, that one's on me. Did I really just do that? Did I really just do that? Land it, Malwak. Thank you. At least Malwak coming up clutch here. That should be game. That should be game. I really just did that in the psychic terrain. I really just did that, yo. But GG 3-0 to start off the brand new ranked season. Let's get it, guys, yo. All that practice on the casual ladder definitely paid off. We ripped today. Just destroying every single person.
Everyone, if you guys are going to be using Alkazam and Expanding Force, make sure you do it now. I feel like everybody's going to start countering up on it because this is so strong right now. It legit is so strong. So once people start figuring everything out, they're going to start countering it hard and destroying you with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. 3-0, not bad for today's video. Alkazam, absolutely wrecked it today and same thing with Malwak dude two new olive armor pokemon i love them so much a perfect team to show off and get the rank season started thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out everyone